We are at the Martinsville Speedway for the 31st race of Season 2 of the SCR Wrangler Junior Butcher National Series. D93 of Brian Fox will lead us to the green flag. Start beside him is the 89 of Toby Fox. Rusty starting lineup for today's race. Points leader Kaka White Line will be starting. Will be starting in the 14th spot. She has a slim lead over Zachary Fitzwater. Fitzwater will be starting in the 5th spot. Speaking of five, this is the fifth ever event we are running here at Martinsville. In season one, Benoit Loverine Irvine won the first ever event. And later on in the season, in the second, Matt Johnson won that race. And Royce well, Curly Tube won the third race. Here in season two, we've only run this track one time. Diego Yepes was the winner of that race. Matt Johnson is the defending race winner here at Martinsville. He is not here today. We will be running Martinsville one more time for the season finale and four more races. We got five races left counting this race. It's been a long season, I know. We've had some exciting races. We've had some snooze fests, which... isn't too bad. But hopefully today's race will be a good one. Finally, for the do here are the most famous words in all of motorsports. Drivers, start your engines. The field is rolling off. Doesn't look like anybody's having any problems. Which is always a good thing. Gonna pull these belts tight. We are racing 50 laps here at Martinsville. Brian Fox puts the hammer down. We're racing here at Martinsville for the fifth time in series history. Zachary Fitzwater already peeking, trying to make it three wide, and does. Going into turn number one, Fitzwater is determined. Fitzwater scored his second Bush Series win two races ago at North Wilkesboro, trying to continue on his good luck streak. Brian Fox maintains his race lead coming out of turn number four. Brian Fox will lead the first lap. One down, 49 laps to go. It's been well over one year since Brian Fox has won a Bush Series event. As I just noticed, the caution is out. We will continue that once we get this race restarted. As the field catches back up, we'll take a look and see about the first caution of the day. So here's the cause of caution. The number 98, James Stabilito racing with the 95, Sebastian Torres, the 45, Patrick Smith, and the 41, Marcus Sanchi. Contact between the 95 and the 98 sends Stabilito up the track in front as Sanchi gets spun out. Eli Bright got some damage, Patrick Smith, Carter Friesian. Derek Hamill, Daniel Grachach, Connor Hurley again, and the all-time race winner, Truddle. They all get damaged during this little spin in turn four, but nothing major. Everybody should continue on. This will be a quickie caution. Once we clean this mess up, we'll take you back to the restart when we do. And we are back. No one is out of the race. The 63, uh, Maria Valverin is one lap down. Brian Fox is a race leader. Second is Toby Fox. Third is Jay Jefferson. Fourth, Zachary Fitzwater. Fifth, Eric Wayne. Sixth, AJ Jones. Seventh, Joshua Rush. Eighth, Al Legacy. Ninth, Gustav Arachoa. And tenth is Alexo Antonio. Brian Fox gets the green, and we're back to racing here at Martinsville. 
Will Maria Valverne get in the way? Brian Fox stays up high. No choice. Here comes Toby Fox. With a push to Brian Fox. No relation there. Brian is able to clear the 63. See if Toby Fox can clear Maria Valverin. Nope. So Brian should give a thank you to Toby, no relation Fox, for helping him keep his race lead. At least for now. Of course, it wasn't intentional, but you know. Oh, well, we got a car on pit road. That's the 71 of Treadle, who is involved in the first caution. Got some damage. Go through the rest of the field. There's our points leader, Kakawat Line, running in the 14th spot. But she is currently trailing Zachary Fitzwater, who is in second. So as of right now, Fitzwater would be the points leader where they are running right now. And we got battle for the race lead as Toby Fox will lead a lap. Maria Valvern got her lap back. Here comes Jay Jefferson to join the party. Brian Fox for a run on the outside, trying to clear Toby. It's a two car drag race down the back stretch. Brian with a run, Toby with a run. And leading this lap will be Brian Fox for a run on the outside. As we have completed 11 laps, Brian trying to squeeze down in front of Toby Fox. Yes, yes he does. Battle for third, Eric Wayne trying to pass Jay Jefferson. Eric Wayne, a former winner in the Tim Hortons Canadian Series, trying to find success here in the Bush Series. Has not had the greatest of seasons, but he is in the top five right now. Whoa, Jay Jefferson almost got spun out by A.J. Jones. A.J., a former two-time winner this season and back-to-back -back races at Hickory and Langley. I'm pretty sure he's very excited to head back to Hickory in a couple of races. As Brian Fox is able to maintain his race lead, 13 of the 50 laps completed. Whoa. And we got a spin. Is there a caution? Yes. So we will be under caution for the second time here at Martinsville, and Maria Valborn will get her lap back. And Brian Fox takes the caution. We'll take a look at Zero brought out the second caution of the day. So here's the cause of the caution. Chris Kyle gets hit by the South Boston race winner, Con Vargas, or Kion Vargas. And Kyle goes into this little access area to pit road slides up the track into Riley Spurley Tube. Sending both cars for a spin in turn four. Sproly Tube smacks the outside wall with pretty decent impact. And yeah, we had a two car spin in turn four. And more cars get involved as well because people are jamming on the brakes trying to avoid. Christian Vargas got damaged after hitting Joe Jefferson. And yeah, that's it. We'll take it back to the restart. And we are back. We are six laps away from the halfway mark. No one else is out of the race. The 63 and Maria Valverne actually is still a lap down. So, yeah. Brian Fox is a race leader. Second is Toby Fox. Third, Eric Wayne. Fourth, AJ Jones. Fifth, Jay Jefferson. Sixth, Zachary Fitzwater. Seventh, Al Legacy. Eighth, Joshua Rush. Ninth is Gustav Archoa. And tenth is Marco Jepez. And we are back to racing here at Martinsville. Into turn number one, Chuddle trying to get his lap back. Brian Fox fighting hard on the outside to try and maintain his race lead. Looks like Fox will not clear the 71, enter in turn three. See if he can't come out of turn four. Gets a run on the high side. He clears the 71, so that is not good for the 89's chances if he wants to get up there and battle Brian Fox for the lead again. So Brian Fox is clear of traffic. The devil, the 71 should move aside to allow faster cars to go up and battle for position. There's Maria Valverant. 
She got her lap back, but a slow pit stop during the caution made her get trapped and lap down again. So Maria is just trying to rebound. Battle for a position. Our legacy trying to go past Zachary Fitzwater. This will be for the sixth spot. Just can't get a good run. Here comes Joshua Rush. He's trying to pass Al Legacy. And these, the 11 car Al Legacy, he needs to pick up the pace because if, if he does not win in the next four races, he will have his first ever winless season in the Bush Series. So it's not been a very successful season for at least Al Legacy. His brother Jack has been to victory lane. Not a dominant performance like season one, but he did win at South Boston earlier in the season. As you go further back up ahead, battle for position. Jay Jefferson trying to go around Eric Wayne. Just can't. Nope. Jay Jefferson goes a little bit wide in turn. Well, we got a caution. I just noticed that. Driver stacking up and sliding. Hopefully our leaders don't get involved. Brian, oh, Brian Fox nails shuttle. And several more drivers spin out. So Brian Fox got a lot of damage. And by the time we get this race restarted, it will be past the halfway mark. Well, let's, let's take a look at the caution. So here's the cause of the caution. The 88 Ryan Boyer racing side by side with the 90 of Matt Boyer. The two Boyer family members get contact, send in the 88 for a spin. And that is the cause of the caution, but we are not done yet. Because you go further up ahead, Diego Yepes tries to get back up onto the track, slides, spins out. Sebastian Torres slides, spins out as well. Chris Kyle does the same thing. Gatlin Downey does the same thing, takes out Henry Urchman. The 8 does the same thing, the double zero, same thing. Bam. Now we go further back, we see our race leader, Brian Fox. He's trying to avoid... And Treadle comes right in front of him, and Fox nails the 71, damaging his radiator. Hopefully to the point where it will not knock our leader out of the race. Well, we'll clean this mess up in turn 3 and turn 4. Once we do, we'll take you back to the restart. And we are back. We're going to get this race restarted with 21 laps to go. Toby Fox is our new race leader. Brian Fox pitted. Relinquishing the lead. Second is AJ Jones. Third is Tony Newman. Fourth, Eric Wayne. Fifth, Jack Legacy. Sixth, Al Legacy. Seventh, Zachary Fitzwater. Eighth, Jay Jefferson. Ninth, Marco Jepez. And tenth is Zaptos Amorithos. Brian Fox is all the way back in the 20th spot. Tough break for Brian Fox. We're back to racing here at Martinsville. I believe that is the second time Brian Fox and Sebastian Torres has had problems here at Martinsville. Sebastian Torres dominated the race, and then he lost it due to a late race caution. Now Brian Fox dominates and then loses the lead due to something out of his own control. Toby Fox trying to keep the race lead. He's got to defend his race lead against three-time Bush Series race winner A.J. Jones. Has one win in Season 1, two here in Season 2. As Maria Valvera makes it three wide. Tony Newman will take over the race lead or trying to at least around Toby Fox here comes Eric Wayne making it a three car battle three wide someone has to give Eric Wayne making a three wide pass in turn one can he complete it as he head down the back stretch yes he does Eric Wayne into the race lead here comes Tony Newman though Newman gave him a bump. Tony Newman has past experience on the short tracks. He won at Bristol earlier in the season. So move car 0-1 into the race lead. Laps are winding down. 17 laps to go this time by. You see Jack Legacy moving up the pack. He has moved past A.J. Jones for fifth, but not for long. Here comes A.J. fighting back on the inside. Whoa, we got a caution. Tony Newman spun out. So Eric Wayne will be the race leader. No caution. Nope, caution. Now there's a caution. So after all that, we have a caution. Well, we're going to get, get this race restarted. Less than 15 laps to go. The 68 Eric Wayne is our race leader. We'll take a look at the caution. 
So here's the cause of caution. The 32 of Yang Carnello. Racing with Marcus Sanchi. Sanchi spins out the 32 car. The 30, I mean, the 41 and the 45 are able to continue on. Here comes the 97. Joshua Rush trying to make it past the 32. Misjudges. And nails. Yang Carnello. And gets damage to the left fender of his car. While Ying is, has to drive away off a damaged vehicle. That's pretty much it. We will take you back to the restart. And we are back. Going to get this race restarted with 12 laps to go. The 45 of Patrick Smith ran into the back of another car during the caution. And he is out. So we have 41 cars left. 35 on the lead lap. Eric Wayne is our race leader. Second is AJ Jones. Third is Toby Fox. Fourth Jack Legacy. Fifth is Al Legacy. Get this race restarted. 12 laps to go. Pace car pulls in. And we're back to racing here at Martinsville. Eric Wayne trying to get around the lap car of Daniel Grichach. Just can't do it. The 22 with a run, but he gets run off the outside. Down the back stretch. AJ Jones has to deal with the lap car. As does the other lap. Oh, Matt Boyer makes contact with the 90. Oh, excuse me, the 7. More contact. 11 laps to go. Looks like the Jack. I mean, looks like the Legacy family members are working together. The 28 and the 11. AJ Jones has cleared the 22. So move him within range of Eric Wayne. Oh, here comes Derek Hamill. He wants to. Oh, I heard a car spinning. And the caution is out with 10 laps to go. Oh, we'll take a look at the caution. So here's the cause of caution. Jack Legacy tries to go around the lap car, the 90. At the same time, the 7 car comes down. And Matt Hamill, who is a lap down, spins out Jack Legacy right in front of his brother Al. Al nails Jack from behind and then hits the outside wall pretty hard. And Jack... Season 2 continues to be a downer compared to Season 1. Here comes Jay Jefferson. Nails him in the right side of his car. And more cars involved. Keka White Lion, Joshua Rush, Keka Silverpaw, Marcus Sanchi, Kyan Vargas, Zeptos Amoritos, Rice Billy, Chibu, Alexa Antonio, Sebastian Torres, Henry Urchman, Chris Kyle, Brian Fox, Sam and Austin, Carter Friesian, Joe Jefferson, Christian Vargas, James Tablito, Maria Valverin, Ryan Boyer, Ian Carnello, and turn four is a mess. Well, once we clean this mess up, hopefully it doesn't take too long. We'll take you back to the restart. And we are back. Going to get this race restarted with five laps to go. No one else is out of the race. We still have 34 cars on the lead lap. Eric Wayne is our race leader. Second is A.J. Jones. Third is Toby Fox. Fourth is Zachary Fitzwater, and fifth is Marco Jepez. So five laps to go. If another caution comes out, the race will be over. Eric Wayne leads into the green. Eric Wayne looking for his first Bush Series win. A.J. Jones looking for his fourth career win. Daniel Grichach trying to get a run on the inside to get a lap back. A.J. with a run on the outside trying to clear lap traffic. And does not. Eric Wayne trying to defend. Four laps to go. And the last race at South Boston, we had a first time winner in Kyan Vargas. Can Eric Wayne continue the streak of first time winners in terms of this series? B3 laps to go. As you see, Keck Silverfall comes back across the track in off of Pit Road. B2 laps to go. Will lap traffic get in the way? Still green. Down the back stretch. No one making any moves for position. Still green. Two laps to go for Eric Wayne. As I mentioned before, a former race winner in the Tim Hortons Canadian Series.
trying to make it big here in the SCRL. Daniel Grachach trying to get his lap back. Will he play a factor? He gives a leader the bump. Oh, we got a car smoking. That's Jay Jefferson. No caution. White flag one lap to go. A half a mile. Eric Wayne goes way wide. As we got a car spinning. That's James Stabilito for some reason. Down to back stretch. Into turn number three. Into turn number four. Off the final turn. Eric Wayne goes wide, but it doesn't matter. He's going to score his first Bush Series win. He wins. A wild one. Here at Martinsville. Well, the only good thing about that race is it's over finally. And we got a first time winner. So here are your race results. Eric Wang hangs on for his first career SCR Wrangler Junior Bush National Series win. Second, AJ Jones. Third, Toby Fox. Fourth, Marco Jepez. Fifth, Al Legacy. Sixth, Sammy Savvy Jr. Seventh, Kaka White Lion. Eighth, Zachary Fitzwater. So the one and two in points finish seventh and eighth. Ninth, Tony Newman, and tenth is season one champion Jack Legacy. Yeah, Chuddle finished the race, so don't worry about that. So did Connor Hurley. Jay Jefferson broke a piston, that's why he was smoking in the final few laps. So we had two drivers out. Forget about Connor Hurley, he also finished the race. It does that when you pit on the backstretch. So we had two drivers that did not finish the race in a wreck fest here at Martinsville. Well, we will take you to victory lane if there is one for the very first time with Eric Wayne. Here are your point standings after the 31st race of the season at Martinsville. Kaka White Lion is still our points leader. She has a nine point lead over Zachary Fitzwater. Third is Jack Legacy, 91 points behind. Fourth is Al Legacy, 170 points behind. And fifth is Riley Spurley Tube, 181 points behind. So we have five drivers with four to go that could still win this championship. Six, Brian Fox, 222 points behind. He is mathematically out of the championship, at least for now. Seventh is Gatlin Downey. Eighth, Diego Yepes. Ninth, Sammy Savvy Jr. And tenth is Eli Bright. Eleventh is Jay Jefferson. Twelfth, A.J. Jones. Thirteenth, Derek Camille. Fourteenth, Ian Carnello. Fifteenth is Matt Boyer. Sixteenth, Sam Austin. Seventeenth is Joshua Rush. Eighteenth is Sebastian Torres. Nineteenth is James Stabilito. And twentieth is Matt Hamill. Twenty-first is Chris Kyle. Twenty-second is Carter Friesian. Twenty-third is Nick Kennedy. Twenty-fourth, Toby Fox. Twenty-fifth, Henry Urchman. Twenty-sixth, Ryan Boyer. Twenty-seventh, is Connor Hurley, 28th, Joe Jefferson, 29th, Alexa Antonio, and 30th is Daniel Grachach. 31st is Marco Jepez, 32nd is Patrick Smith, 33rd is Maria Valverin, 34th, Eric Wayne with the victory is 34th in points, 35th is Chuttle, 36th is Kyan Vargas, 37th is Gustav Arachoa, 38th, Tony Newman, 39th, Zaptos Amardos, and 48th is Christian Vargas. 41st is Marcus Sanchi, 42nd is Keka White Lion, and last in points is Steel Aureus. So that is your point sentence after the 31st race of the season at Martinsville. We will next see you at the 32nd race of the season at the Orange County Speedway for the fourth ever event at that track. Should be a wreck fest of a race once again. Only the full-time drivers will be competing in that race. And until then, keep the hammer down and we'll see you at the track.